What if you couldn't concentrate? What if you were always in doubt about the last things that you said? What if you thought Skip didn't beat like a drum machine with the speed knob turned all the way to the right? Walter couldn't concentrate. He'd been to doctors. He'd been to doctors in Wiltshire. The physicians that he visited in Rutland sent him to a psychiatrist at Lyme Regis. He hated Lyme Regis. He stayed at the Burgos de Woodland. He ate the Cornish pasties until he couldn't breathe. He watched TV in the dank, dark room. Shows like Dizzy Heights Hotel made him cry for hours on end. He'd known he was depressed, but didn't understand how he couldn't concentrate. When he tried to solve the problem, he lost track of his reasoning. It was as if he had lyrics running in his ears all of the time preventing him from hearing himself. Walter had once gone to a dance club and was stunned that the same synthesizer sound was used as a lead over and over again in each song, as if it was a sign of membership. More than membership, understanding. But that sound the buzzy, clear noise was like a virus in his brain. He thought about it for a long time afterwards. Or more it came to him later. When Walter met with the doctor in Lyme Regis, he was unimpressed with anything about the doctor. The waiting room smelled like coffee. Inside the doctor's office, sitting opposite the desk, Walter listened to the doctor explaining that Walter's x-rays showed a brain getting lighter, lighter, fading away. Fading into the air. In another month, there will be no brain in there, said the doctor. Walter next found himself walking on the beach, crying again. The crying stopped, and Walter was watching the snow fall on the crashing waves, melting into the salty foam. Cake fell from his face. There seemed to be a smear of jelly on his hair. Walter got off the bus in Chepstow. Night was rising. Walter couldn't concentrate.